Hey everyone, I'm working in my planner again today. I am going back to my recent past weeks and I'm filling in some photos. And I just thought I would let you know how I print out my photos from my phone into these nice little squares. So here's my phone here, I hope you can see. I go and I use this app, it's called PixArt. You just open up the app. And so hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. Um, once you get into the app and you're using it and everything, I just go to collage and I pick grid. And once that brings that up, it's got all of these different formats that you can choose from. I go ahead and I use the little, just square little format. Now you can kind of change um, if you want really big borders, if you want no borders at all. I kind of like a little bit of border because then when I cut it out it has a little white border around there. I just think that looks nice. And so when you have that the way you want it, go ahead and click and then go through your pictures and pick what you want to print. So, okay, and then you push add and then it'll um, bring them up into your little squares here. Now you can um, tap them and slide them around to kind of get them centered the way you want them. Uh, these two were Instagram pictures that got saved to my phone so they're a perfect square already. So that's really nice if you want to save your Instagram pictures and then just print those out. Um, these two were on my phone so I did have to kind of center them. Anyway, so I have my pictures in there the way I want them. I'm just going to push this arrow here and it's saving it. And then it gives you some other things down here. You can do different effects. Um, uh, you can put some stickers, clip arts, and everything. I usually don't use a whole lot of these. I like the photos the way I took them originally. So then I'll just go ahead and once you're done with this section, push the little arrow. Then you can just um, share it immediately to Facebook or Instagram or anything you want. I go ahead and I click this little icon here that says gallery. So it saves it right to my phone. And then from there, after it's um, saved on my phone, I send it over to my printer and then print them out. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, so here's what it looks like when I print it off. It's got the four little squares on my 4x6 piece of photo paper. Now, I, when I downloaded or saved my collage to my phone, to my gallery, I went ahead and I sent it over to my desktop computer where I could print it out on my printer because my desktop is hooked up right to my printer. Um, if, you're, if you have wireless, that might be a great option. That might work for you. Um, but I just went with my desktop com computer. So when you bring it up to print, make sure you go through all the little settings and put, put what kind of paper you're using, what, kind of, what size it is, uh, make sure all your settings are correct. And then there's this little option on mine that has, you can either shrink your photos to fit, so it's shrink to fit, which is what I click, and it gives it these nice square photos. Otherwise the other option, and I can't remember what it's called, but it's just the um, it's just the default option makes them kind of longer so you get four longer pictures which um, it kind of makes them long and skinny so it cuts off a little bit so it might work for some pictures and you might like that longer picture if that's what your printer does otherwise make sure you have it um, shrink to fit to make it um, square and you might have different options on your printer so just play around with it um, if it's not looking how you want you might need to change some settings so I'm sorry I can't be a little bit more specific but everyone's printers are different so anyway um, I printed it off and then it's got these little white borders here so when I cut it I'm just gonna leave a little bit of white and just cut these completely out And you can use a straight edge trimmer too, because that would make it um, more precise and more easy. But I'm just working with my scissors here. I have sort of limited desk space right now. <laughs> I'm actually working on my um, hotel's nightstand next to the window, so I have a little bit of light so you guys can see what I'm doing. So I'm not going to pull out my big 
trimmer. I'm just using my scissors. So I really like that app for printing out pictures, especially if they were Instagram pictures like these were because then they're just like a perfect square anyway. So then you have your little square pictures and you can just um, put them in your planner anywhere you want to. I'm going to go ahead and take these down. I sort of try to match up the pictures on the days that they happened. Um, some of these photos, I can't remember exactly what day, so I'm just going to add them in there. It happened <laughs> during this week, so that counts, I think. Actually, this photo I was going to put in this little booklet that I created earlier because I had a cute little story that went with his feet. Maybe it's cute, maybe it's gross. Just basically he likes to melt M&Ms in his toes and then lick them off. So it's probably kind of disgusting, but something to remember, I think. Hopefully that's not too much information for y'all. So that's... Um, sticking out a little bit farther than I want it to, so I'm just going to flip it over and trim it. And then I mentioned in one of my other videos that I forgot to bring my little hole puncher, because I am planning on punching holes in this and then sticking it in here, and it's like a little, little booklet you can open up and read this cute little story. So I went ahead and I just traced the holes where I want to punch them and then when I get home I'll go ahead and punch them out and just clip this in. So right now I'm just keeping it in my pocket over on the side. And then I just want to tape this little one in there as well. Figure out where I want to put that. So I'm really loving how the whole planner um, meets scrapbook kind of thing. You don't have to take all the time in the world to do like a huge beautiful scrapbook page which looks great and I love doing it. But sometimes I don't have the time for it and then once I get a page done I just hate sticking it in a book and sticking it on the shelf where I'm never going to see it again. I feel like at least in this planner where it's kind of I write down things that I'm going to do in the week ahead and then as the week goes on I go back and I add little notes and then at the end of the week I add in my little photos of things that happen. So it's kind of um, memory keeping, um, journaling, planning all in one. So I'm really loving this, this format of the memory journal. Anyway, I hope that this little uh, tutorial <laughs> on how to use or, you know, which app I use for my pictures is kind of helpful. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of other apps out there and it's kind of the same basic concept. I just uh, found one that I can make little square photos out of and then um, that's what I use to uh, print out and put in my planner. I just like that I can print them smaller and get more photos on one sheet of photo paper because let's be honest that's it's not the cheapest to use the ink and the photo paper. Um, it's handy to have it right at home where you can print it out yourself but it can get a little pricey if you're printing tons of photos at once so that's kind of why I like the whole app to make them smaller and they fit in your planner. So I'll stop rambling. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this was helpful and I'll catch you in some future videos. Bye.